Welcome everybody, Alvaro Martinez here, Product Manager for Operations Integration Servers here at Wonderware. Our topic today is really the word of the day, and that word is awesomeness. Yes, awesomeness. I got some props for you, let me bring them up. So, awesomeness is when my device integration team, my operations integration team here at Wonderware, builds a great new server. And that server today is the Siemens S7-1500. Here's my second prop. The new S7-1500 is a great platform. And we have a great offering for you and that's what we're gonna focus our conversation on today. And that server starts with the download from our global customer support site. Very simple. First, you will need our new operations integration core. We have upgraded the core to the series the generation G1.1 because we need some enhancements for this new release. And second, you're going to download the Siemens SI Direct add-on for the OI Core G1.1. Very simple install, very quick install. Now, once you completed that install, you're actually ready to go. We have done almost all the work for you. This is a great server. Again, remember awesomeness. Great server. We have pre-configured the server for you and you'll see that once you open the system management console after you have installed the server the only minimal thing that you need to do is configure the network ip address for that server and that's relatively simple now a couple things that are enhancing this server is the fact that we allow you to test the connection right there so you know that you're actually communicating with the end device furthermore with this particular uh, platform with the s7 1500 platform Siemens has added security, very important for, uh, for our IT compliance and cybersecurity compliance in our plant environment. So with, with security in mind, we are actually supporting the password protection that can be embedded in the controllers. If you have a controller that has secured connectivity, we have given you that capability of uh, connecting secure to the controller. Great, very easy. Now you're, you're ready to use the server, really. You have the configuration done and within literally maybe a minute or so. Our integration with our offerings is obviously great. First and foremost, uh, with uh, application server and system platform. About a year or so ago, we introduced the concept of IO auto assignment. One of the key parts or the, the key benefits of this particular controller, the S7-1500, is that it supports the symbolic namespace. And the symbolic namespace is, is uh, a new offering which a lot of manufacturers are coming out with, which is it's also in some cases named as user data types. Instead of using the typical register-based addressing scheme, which is still supported in this controller, now you can use the symbolic namespace, which is a hierarchical name structure. Uh, the example that I give uh, with respect to our software is our reactor demo where you have the reactor and then you have, for example, the tank, the holding tank, you have uh, inlet uh, valves, pumps, levels, and so on and so forth. Now those can be named hierarchically in a structure rather than using uh, cryptic register names in the controller. So the new protocol from Siemens, uh, what I call in the symbolic protocol in our, in our connectivity, supports symbolic address namespace and it's extremely easy to use uh, and again we can leverage io auto assignment and system platform so it makes that connectivity very very simple similarly with in touch is just as easy it leverages the legacy connectivity in in touch which is create your access name connecting to the oi server and we have kept the same ui experience as the legacy da servers and, and they can coexist with one another. So configure your access name in InTouch. You know, that's very simple. Just protocol name, topic name, and you're good to go. And in your InTouch tag names, as usual, you configure your IO item addressing. Uh, and very simple, uh, no, no magic there. So again, word of the day, awesomeness. Keep in mind that if your controller of choice is the Siemens controller, your platform of choice, your software platform of choice is Wonderware system platform and operations integration service. Thanks for watching.